Hey, what's up, Slab fam? Welcome back to Slab Dynasty. We've got a really, really dope video coming at y'all. This past weekend was Labor Day weekend, which marks the opening of dove season here in North Carolina. We went to CJ's house. He's got a pond in the backyard. He also lives on a farm, and there are doves flying around everywhere. So what we did is a little cast and blast, guys. We went out, did some fishing, caught some bass, and then turned right around got some shotguns and hunted some dove. It was really, really fun. Make sure you guys watch this video all the way till the end because we do a little bit of catch and cook for you guys. We actually get the dove, clean it, prepare it, cook it on the grill, and then do a little taste test. Ooh, man, it was so good. Super quick, guys, before we get into the video, I just wanna announce the winner of the giveaway from the fly fishing for bass video that we did last week. Joseph Isaac, congrats, man. You are the winner. Hit us up on Facebook or Instagram, and we'll get you squared away and get those baits shipped out to you. But hey, guys, guess what? We've got another giveaway for this video. We are giving away three packs of soft plastics. We got some Ketchco worms here, some watermelon red six inch lizards from Zoom. Those are great, great baits. And then we've got some man's auger tail worms. Really, really unique, interesting bait. Really good in grass and stuff like that, swimming it through grass. So like always guys, to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel with notifications on, like this video, and comment down below. Those three things will get you entered and we will pick the winner in a future video. So make sure you keep tuning into the videos, guys. All right, enough of me. That is all I got. Let's get out to the cast and blast. See you out there. All right, guys, here we go. So we are starting the cast portion of our blast and cast today. And we're fishing a little pond and it's real cloudy and windy. So I've got a chatterbait tied on. This is actually a jig from 911 Custom Lures with the uh, Arky style head. It's just like a skipping jig. And it's actually got what's called a queen tackle switchblade on there. It's it's a, a chatterbait blade that you can put on any kind of head. You can take it off and put it on. So really, really cool. And it actually vibrates super, super good. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I mean, it thumps. It thumps more than like a regular chatterbait and it actually hunts around really well too, so kind of a kind of a custom chatterbait deal so we're gonna see if these fish will bite this thing oh there's one guys there's a fish all right first one there he is not a bad one not a bad one for this pond anyways Man, guys, look at that hook. Look at that hook. He got that thing good. Man, he swallowed it. There he is, guys. He's real pale. Very interesting. This water's been a little, a little murky lately. So that's the first one, guys, on the chatterbait, the 911 Custom Lures chatterbait. There it is. Let him go. See ya. <laughs> nice. So that dude was sitting kind of off of this grass like this a couple feet maybe he wasn't right up on the grass so i'm going to try to parallel it kind of in that strike zone hopefully there's another one there's another one guys oh that's a better one that's a better one oh yeah i think he's maybe but oh he came off <laughs> oh i think i was getting a little too ambitious skating him in like that Darn it, darn it, he was a little bit better, it felt like. Yeah, so like we said guys, later today, as the evening approaches, we are gonna uh, get out and try to shoot some doves. We've got a sweet field out here and hopefully we can see some. We've been seeing some flying today, guys. There's been, there's been consistent dove action on this field. So hopefully when we get set up later today, we can pop a few right now that we gotta catch another fish. Check it out, y'all. Something took the tail off my swim bait. I think I'm gonna head back to the other side, get another trailer, and then I uh, also might take the John boat out. There's a John boat over there, and might be able to access some of that water back in there that you can't get to from the bank. So I'm gonna put another trailer on, take a quick break, and, and get back out there. Fish are biting, so got a good feeling. Stay tuned. 
Okay guys, we're back out here. And we got our John boat and we're ready to launch. So uh, let's get after it boys. Always make sure when you go in a John boat, you got a paddle with you. You can get in some sticky situations if you don't. Let's see if we can't get this guy in the water. It's a little muddy, muddy in here. Oh, there we go, there we go. That should work. All right, guys, we're going to go over here into this back corner back here. Water looks pretty good over here. It's nice green. It's not too muddy like it was earlier. Oh, there's one, guys. Got one. Oh, stay on there. Not a big one, but it's a fish. Come on in here, buddy. What's up, dude? I got you. I got you. Just shook the hook out. And there he is, guys. Again, not a big one. There's not huge fish in this pond, to be honest with you. The biggest one we've caught is like four pounds. So they're in here, but you get a lot of these guys. A lot of small bass. All right, see you, buddy. Let's get your great grandma. So guys, one thing too, I cut my teeth really John boat fishing. And I don't get to do it as much anymore, but I really learned how to bass fish out of a John boat. And there's some things you can do to make your time on a John boat a little bit easier, a little bit more productive. And one of those things is, you know, when you're on a John boat, you really are susceptible to the wind and getting blown around and getting off direction. And it can be hard to cover water efficiently. One thing that I like to do is do like I'm doing right here. I'm sitting, I'm standing actually on the back of the John boat and I've got the motor going in reverse. And that just controls me against the wind. If I've got a wind blowing back, you know, up in front of me, then, you know, this, the wind's going to blow the front end that way behind me and, and I'm good. You know, I don't have to worry about the, the boat getting off course or anything like that. Now, if the wind was behind me, it might make it a little bit more difficult, but if that was the case, I would just go over there and then start my run this way. Um, it's a lot easier than pushing your nose into the wind or pushing your nose even with the wind. It's, uh, you know, you're, you're much more uh, susceptible to, to getting blown around and getting off course. And that, that nose, that light nose of the John boat can just get really tossed around by the wind super easily. So, little tip. Trying to reel this thing kind of fast, guys, because this water's so shallow. And this thing's kind of heavy, so it gets down there kind of fast. So I'm keeping my rod tip up, reeling kind of fast, pumping it a little bit, just making it act erratic. Dang, guys, I think we got bit again. Tail's gone. Darn it. You know, I've got an idea. I think it might be time for some top water. I'm going to go run back and get my top water rod with my popper on it. Let's see if we can't get some top water blows for you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, I've got the trusty old Rico tied on, and we're gonna try to see if we can't call up some fish. They usually respond to a popper really well out here. They really like this thing. Again, it's usually a lot of little ones, but if you're gonna catch the little ones, might as well be on top water, am I right? Oh, oh man, maybe he'll come back for it. Maybe he'll come back. Come on, come on back. God, those blow ups, they're so fierce. Not always a big one, but they will scare you half to death. Oh, there he is guys, nice. We got him that time. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Nice, that's not a bad one. Not a bad one. Looky there. Stop this trolling motor. Saw one bust like right in that corner there and kind of casted right to the right of it. He was there, man. He was, he was hunting that thing. Like I said, guys, not big ones. Not a whole lot of big fish in this pond. Got a lot of these dudes, but if you're gonna catch small ones, 
you might as well catch them on top water. So much fun, guys. So much fun. See you, dude. All right, y'all, we did some casting. It's time to do some blasting. Okay, guys, here's the blast portion of this video. It's taking place right here, right here in the backyard. That's the cool thing about dove hunting. It's a little bit more on the casual side. If you got some doves flying around, you got a field, you got some property, you can pretty much go out and shoot them. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the camera. Levi's got the chest mount now. We're gonna try to uh, maneuver these dove and, and see if we can't get some to fly over here and mess up a little bit. Should be pretty fun. Levi, wave. <laughs> bird, bird over your head. Oh, there he is. Get him. Fudge. Dang it. Fudge. Fudge. <laughs> well, guys. There you have it. Bird came right over the field. I believe I missed him, unfortunately, but that's like the second or third one that's come over the field in like, I don't know, 20 minutes, maybe less. So it's a good sign, good sign. Here. Damn. They were too far. No, there was three of them. Coming over the pond, coming over the pond. Oh, no, no, oh, no, they flew away. They, come out of they do come out of nowhere, man. They come out of nowhere. <laughs> Here, I got y'all, I got y'all. I should get them out there for you guys. Nice. Hey, coming, coming this way. Yep, yep. They're gonna fly right over you, Levi. Yep, right there. I hit that bird. What is going on? Yep, 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 yep. There they are. They're landing. They're in the trees. They're in the trees. Reload. Quick, quick, quick. Reload. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. Oh. Come on, guys. Get them. <laughs> Golly, y'all. And I'm out. Of, I'm like low on shells. Hot damn. <laughs> well, that was crazy, guys. Two different pods of two came in just now. And how many how many rounds did did y'all fire off? Like uh, probably five over ten total, and we five couldn't get one. Three. Levi said that there's feathers everywhere, so we must have he must have nicked one. That was nuts. Uh, it just all happened so fast. We've been sitting around for a while. <laughs> oh my god! Luckily, they've already shot some today, so we've got some dove. I mean, we Levi shot them all. You know, we're gonna cook them up, do a little uh, kill and cook, so to speak, but. We're really trying to get a few more for you guys. Dang, that was so close. That was so close. I legit hit that bird. And I knocked the feathers off of him. Unlucky. Well, why can't you hit one, bud? I don't know, man. <laughs> when the cameras weren't rolling, I was hitting them. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. I think I'm about to take over. What do I do? Uh, you gotta push that forward. Oh, it's good to go. oh God, the freaking hole. <laughs> I think I was about to tell you to practice and like just aim <laughs> that was the my rail. practice right yeah. there. <laughs> Dude, you were speechless when you were pointing. You were just like, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I could not. Dude, yeah, well, I couldn't put that in the words. That was crazy. Bam. One of those. Bam. 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 
Hey, 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 coming in, coming in, coming in. Oh, yes, sir. He's still that, he's still low. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Good shot. Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. Let's go. <laughs> you want to do this? Yeah, wait, how do I do this? How All do we right. do this? There's a few options here. I got some person. Can we just smash his head? No, nah, you're taking like this. Record? Are you recording? Yeah. Taking like this. Okay. And you can actually just like take him like that. Okay. And there's the head. It's gruesome, but you gotta do it. Bam, baby. How do you how are you supposed to hold these things? I don't I don't know. They're I'm not holding really it by the animal. feet. <laughs> Look at that guys, my first dove popped one. Morning <laughs> Sweet. All right, guys, we're gonna show y'all how to clean oh, some dove. I don't know how to do this. We're, we're relying on, on Levi here, so. Not gonna lie that this might not be the right way to clean a dove. This is just the way I learned how to clean a dove. All right, so you're gonna find the breastplate. Some people like to clear it off. I don't really care. There's a breastplate and there's, it peaks at the bottom. And there's a little point. And you're gonna stick your finger just simply under that point facing the, the chest. Like right, yeah. right in there, right? Yeah, right here. Right here? Yeah. Okay. And stay under that breastplate. Okay. And you just run your finger all the way up, and eventually you'll get through and you can pull the body down like that. And then we'll have to cut the wings off. You're left with just the breast and the wings, and there's no meat on these wings. These are not chicken wings. There you go. You cut the wings off. Doggies in the shot. Doggies are very interested, and then the rest just kind of. Cool. Yeah. You can you can come on, Coops. You can pluck them and get the skin, keep the skin on, or you could just tear the whole skin off. This one looks like it's actually going to be skin on. Usually the skin comes off relatively easy. It's good to have a hose pipe for this process because you get pretty nasty. Looks like a mini little deer heart. It's interesting. That's that red meat from just a bird that just nut stopped just. All right, it's important to uh, check these wounds for BBs because you do not want to bite into a BB from a shotgun shell. It'll break your tooth. What are we putting on here? This is a nice garlic and herb, black pepper and sea salt combination. It speeds things up. This is preferred selection wild game seasoning blend. Matt, we're using your seasoning, bud. What seasoning is that? Wild game? Yeah. It's pretty good. It's at Lidl. I'd recommend it. <laughs> Lidl, Lidl. Lidl, 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 Lidl. We're just going to throw these bad boys on the grill. See how they taste. Sounds good to me. All right, so the breast bone, the breast plate is in the back. This is all solid. I don't know if y'all can see that, but we're going to set that side down first so it can cook internally a little bit. Put it sideways so it doesn't fall through. All right. Got them all on the grill. We're gonna close it, try to get them cooked all the way through, and then we're gonna flip them over. Not all the way through, but most of the way through. Then flip them over, get a nice like grill marks on the other side, and we we'll take them off and enjoy, I guess. Nice. Got a nice sear going. Yeah, let them cook on that side for a little bit. Make sure they're fully cooked. Thank you. They're looking pretty. We don't want to overcook these bad boys. They look like they're done. We're going to take them off and go enjoy. Your first time dove meat? Eating yeah. Dove meat? Yeah, Matt, definitely. First time dove meat. We've got three new dove meat eaters here. The dishwasher. Yeah. That's yeah, good. It's yeah, perfect, looks good. actually. They're done. Yeah. That looks great. Sweet. It looks like steak. Probably gonna taste different. All right, here we go. Very good. Very good texture too. 
They call it the filet mignon of the sky. Very good, though. I give it sirloin at best. Soft. All game seasoning. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's good. Hell yeah. Koopy, you want some dove? You want some dove? <laughs> what you think, boy? Is that good? Yeah, I want some more. All right, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Ready? Uh, all right, you got to catch it for the camera. Here you go. Good, oh, good. you got it. Good boy. Here, there's some more right there. Well, guys, I think this is going to wrap it up. We had an awesome day. Caught some fish, shot some birds. I mean, just a classic cast and blast for you guys. If you guys like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below what you thought. If you like fishing videos, hunting videos, we might get into some hunting now. Consider subscribing to the channel, guys. We really appreciate y'all's support. Hey, all it takes is one dove. Slab out.